Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ, the lowly servant here. Welcome to my channel. Today is March 18, Wednesday of the third week of Lent. The Gospel said, Whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. Let me read first and reflect on it after. But first... The first reading is from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people and said, Now Israel, hear the statutes and decrees, which I am teaching you to observe, that you may live, and may enter in and take possession of the land which the Lord, the God of your fathers, is giving you. Therefore, I teach you the statutes and decrees as the Lord my God has commanded me that you may observe them in the land you are entering to occupy. Observe them carefully, for thus will you give evidence of your wisdom and intelligence to the nations, who will hear of all these statutes and say, This great nation is truly a wise and intelligent people. For what great nation is there that has God so close to it as the Lord our God is to us whenever we call upon Him? Or what great nation has statutes and decrees that are as just as this whole law which I am setting before you today? However, take care and be earnestly on your guard not to forget the things which your own eyes have seen, nor let them slip from your memory as long as you live, but teach them to your children and to your children's children. Responsorial Psalm The response is, Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Glorify the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion, for He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He sends forth His command to the earth, swiftly runs His word. He spreads snow like wool, frost He strews like ashes. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He has proclaimed His word to Jacob, His statutes and His ordinances to Israel. He has not done thus for any other nation. His ordinances He has not made known to them. Praise the Lord Jerusalem. Verse before the Gospel Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. The Gospel according to Matthew Jesus said to His disciples, do not think that I have come to abolish the law of the prophets. I have come not to abolish but to fulfill. Amen, I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or the smallest part of a letter will pass from the law until all things have taken place. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do so will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys and teaches these commandments will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. The statement of Jesus' position concerning the Mosaic Law is composed of traditional material from Matthew's sermon documentation and other materials, and the evangelist's own editorial touches. To fulfill the law appears at first to mean a literal enforcement of the law, in the least detail. Until heaven and earth pass away, nothing of the law will pass. Yet the passing away of heaven and earth is not necessarily the end of the world understood, as in much apocalyptic literature, as the dissolution of the existing universe. The turning of the ages comes with the apocalyptic event of Jesus' death and resurrection, and those to whom this gospel is addressed are living in a new and final age, prophesied by Isaiah as the time of new heavens and a new earth. Meanwhile, during Jesus' ministry, when the kingdom is already breaking in, His mission remains within the framework of the law, 
though with significant anticipation of the age to come, as the following of the thesis show. Reflection The Ten Commandments God provided for us was written in order of importance, with the first being to love only one God and love our neighbors. But Jesus was saying in the Gospel that whoever disobeys the least of these commandments will be least in the kingdom of heaven or the least in the eyes of God. What he is saying is no matter what possession that commandment was in the list, in the eyes of God all the commandments are important and should be followed with diligence so as not to make any changes in our position in heaven. The death and sacrifice of Jesus on the cross paved the way for our salvation, yes, but it is up to us to make sure that that possession is secure until it is time for us to join them by our death. That's all for now. If you like these kinds of videos, subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so you won't miss out on any of my future uploads. Have a great day and always keep God in your hearts. Peace to all.